when I was in high school, I used to get depressed because I chose a victim mentality that I didn't have power to get a girlfriend. I kept telling myself that, and I was told it by women to my face, and they're not wrong for it, they were just being honest, that I'd like you, but you're too short. I'm 5'4", by the way. We would date, but you're too short. I just don't want to be shorter than the guy I'm with. So I ended up painting a picture in a narrative, and that narrative was that I can't get a girlfriend because I'm short. And that isn't true. The true statement is that it's more difficult to get a girlfriend when you're short. Just like, let's say your average height, you're 5'9 in the United States, and you're not handsome, it's more difficult to get a girlfriend when you're not handsome. Or it's more difficult to get a girlfriend when you're broke. Or it's more difficult to get a girlfriend when you're not confident. If you are lacking a, if you're lacking an objective, attractive quality about yourself, of course, you're less likely to be desired, but that doesn't make it impossible. How do you explain short dudes who get married and have relationships and have kids? How do you explain ugly people who get in relationships, have kids, and get married? How do you explain poor people? How do you explain undesirable, undesirable person A, B, or C? I think too many people consume this red pill manosphere content and you start only seeing, you have a bias, and you only see information that helps cater to your narrative. Because I was like that and I thought, it's impossible, I'm never going to get a girlfriend until I got a girlfriend. And then you're kind of like, well, that, that's true. Like That statement can't be true because insert person blank has a girlfriend. And you might say, well, that's because they're handsome. Okay, but they're still short. How would you explain somebody who's not handsome? Well, that's because, that's because, and you, you're always there, but the real answer is, when you hit a certain threshold holistically in terms of your sexual market value, you're going to be desired by a certain person who holistically has a, an either equal or lesser sexual market value. So if you're short and you think it's that bad, get some muscle, make some money, and develop some actual skills. Learn a language. Become a pilot. Like, do things that are valuable and interesting because whether you want to admit or not, there are women you don't want to be with and it's because their tits aren't that big and their ass ain't that fat and her face isn't that pretty. What, are you a piece of shit now too? No, they're not pieces of shit. You're not a piece of shit. We're humans and we simply go off of biology more than we like to admit. That's why I don't like videos or people who say things like, height doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters in the extreme senses. You don't want a guy or girl who's too short or too tall. Dick size matters. You don't want a micro penis, but you don't want one that's going to hurt you. You don't want... As men, there are such things as tits that are too big or an ass that's too big. These things matter. Money matters. Height matters. Looks matter. But you have more control over your situation than you care to admit. You just want to choose a victim mentality, and that's why you're not going anywhere. That's why if you go through YouTube and type in, like, I can't get a girlfriend because I'm short. No, you can't get a girlfriend because you're weak. Like, you are a weak person. It's a psychological issue. It's, it's a fundamental one. You can become better than you are. You just don't want to be. Go chase greatness. That's all I got.